I don't know, we, we kind of started as friends. She lived on the floor above me. We were starting to hang out as just a group of friends and we started getting closer. The first time that like, apparently we met, he came into the room and he went, Blackhawks suck, because Blackhawks just won the Stanley Cup. I had a poster and he's a huge Red Wings fan. Always Red Wings. And she's bandwagon Blackhawks. So I said, I don't know who you are, but you can get the fuck out of my room. And I think those are probably actually the first words that I spoke to Hayden, so that's great. Today is April 13th. 4 13 19. Shannon and Hayden are getting married. Shake <laughs> last smashing for the passion. Woo! We are in Chicago at the Langham. Past two weeks have been excruciating. Like, I've been so ready to go and get this day started. I think my favorite thing about Shen is how much of a kid at heart she is. She's just very put together. She's sweet, she's thoughtful, she's kind, she's loving. She's like the nicest person to anyone. She really cares about people and it shows. First time I heard about her was first semester after college and let's just say she made an impression that can't be unremembered. We're just gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. It was his freshman year of college at IU and started dropping hints around the holidays. I was there for it all. The ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. We started dating pretty early, so um, we were kind of in a relationship um, by about uh, freshman year fall. Me and my mom saw a picture on Facebook and we're like, okay, who is this? I looked at it and I was like, oh, somebody loves my son. I could just tell right away. I love Hayden. He is been there for both of my daughters, for me, for my husband. He's just an amazing human being and he's kind and he has a great heart. We were both goofy. I mean, not that we aren't anymore, but we definitely were uh, freshman year. He takes care of me when I need it and he wants the best for me and I love that about him. He moved me out of my college apartment like a few weeks after they started kind of hanging out. So from the start, he's just always been there for us. I mean, they've just grown tremendously as a couple and they're just always happy and having a good time. As an observer of their relationship, they're very mature. They bounce each other out so well. Uh, you know, it's the, they're, they're true yin to each other's yang. Um, and that's how you know they're going to be successful. I'm just really excited for Hayden and Shannon to uh, officially be man and wife. I don't know. I think I'm looking forward to watching her father walk her down the aisle. So I'm gonna start to cry if I think about it. Don't cry. <laughs> if you cry, I cry. Hey, don't I think I'm really looking forward to the first look for Hayden to see it like all come together. Keeping this dress a secret has been killing me and I've been actually wanting to show it to him for like months now. So, the first look. looking forward to seeing my son up there with his bride and exchanging vows, just seeing the joy on their face. I'm excited for this ceremony. I think it's going to be really sweet, really special, and I think that the love that they have for each other is really going to come through.
Now on behalf of the bride and the groom and their families, and all of the tuition dollars that went to Indiana University. But truly, this space is filled with amazing and special people. And Shannon, this good man, a man like you, who's loyal and committed, an intense skier, you've watched that happen. Hey, babe, let's go to video. Let's shush for video. <laughs> Shannon had no idea of the engagement, obviously. On the final day, we took a gondola up to the top of the peak and got engaged. Hayden, you proposed life together and something happened to your knee and you went down! He starts to like unzip his ski jacket pocket right here. And it was very short, ski to the point. It was, I kissed you seven years ago today, will you marry me? And that was literally the proposal, so I remember it very well. Shannon and Hayden, you truly have made this real. Your families are so blessed and honored to come and celebrate you. And in that spirit, we should cross the bridge from friendship to marriage. We call it vows, so will you please look into each other's eyes. I, Hayden, take you, Shannon, to be my wedded wife. I, Shannon, take you, Hayden, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, to love and cherish through all of my life. Through all of my life. And so given the vows you vowed and the promises you promised, it's an honor now to pronounce that you are husband and wife and to invite you to seal that appropriately with a kiss that is worthy of this good night. Please stay close and may God bless a great party. Amen. Yeah, so my dad, he's a Hoosier, and he started telling people right after we got engaged that it was a youth themed and that the table numbers are going to be different monuments for my youth. Like our favorite bars, Kilroy's and Nick's and the Memorial Stadium, and so those are on all the tapes. And they actually turned out so beautiful. I'm so excited to see them. So we just want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. This is incredible. I couldn't imagine anything better than this. And let's toast to, I guess, us? I don't know. I think it's going to be one heck of a party. We've got a lot of fun friends and family, and I think everybody gets along really well, so it's going to be an awesome evening. Food, their alcohol, first dance. open bar. Maybe getting out of the tux, loosening up a little, maybe the dance floor, cutting a rug. First of all, I'd like to welcome you here and really thank you for coming to the celebration. Karen and I and Jeff and Kathy Passion are so thrilled to have you here. This is a great marriage and we are so happy that you know, you're here to join us. Shannon, you and I owe your mom a big debt of gratitude for the way you've been brought up. Shannon has grit and determination, and she always shows up. I really thank her mom a lot for what she's uh, brought to her. So this is super corny, and I'm gonna do it anyways, but Shannon is my best friend. We've stayed both uh, mentally, emotionally, but mainly physically close to one another, uh, and we still share clothes. Yep, yeah, we share clothes. Okay, so. <laughs> So, um, 
Our relationship is sort of unique in the sense that we've never really been next door neighbors or anything like that. Oh God. <laughs> It's crazy to see how far we've come. I can't think of someone more deserving of what like you've made for yourself. As I walked Shannon down the aisle, I sort of had two emotions. The first one's kind of a sense of loss or sadness because she's not my little girl anymore. Hayden, it's your job to take care of her now, you know, and that's forever. You know, I know you're going to take that job seriously. I'm just going to say, you know, if you guys need anything at any time, you know uh, I'm here, your mom's here, Shannon, your mom and dad's there for you always. Love each other as much as you possibly can every single day. Hayden and Shannon, uh, I love you both. Shannon, you've been one of my best friends for such a long time. Freshman year of college, I forced you to be my friend. <laughs> I know how it is being married for the last couple years, it's awesome. I'm here for you guys and anything you need. Let me know. You're gonna do great and just try to take it all in. Love you, Shannon. Love you. Love you, Hayden. Love you, Shaden. So just again, I just want to say thank you both for letting me be a part of this special day. It, it really does mean a lot and I can't wait to watch you guys grow. I'm gonna finish with a toast. Shannon and Hayden, always be patient and always be kind to each other and never underestimate what a kiss on the cheek can do. Cheers to the couple, prosperity, happiness, and a long life together.